Uh, my name's Matthew Nicholson and I'm here recording a short video uh, for FND Awareness Day. I've been suffering with a condition for approximately two years. Uh, it's had a massive impact on my life. Um, for those who are not aware, um, functional neurological disorder is the second most common reason for a neurological outpatient visit after a headache and a migraine. It's more common than multiple sclerosis. And due to a, it's caused due to a problem with the functioning of the nervous system and it's thought to be the result of the brain's inability to send and receive signals properly rather than it being a disease. Despite these things and despite it being quite a, a common illness, unfortunately there's not much known about um, how to treat it or what it actually is. And that's where a lot of the people suffering have problems with it because when they go into people in the medical profession outside of the neurological office, there doesn't really seem to be much support and that's a crying shame really, it needs to change. Um, I've prepared a little poem that I've written um, for this to try and give a little bit of an explanation about how it affects me. I don't walk with a limp, not confined to a chair, I'm not partially sighted or losing my hair. It may seem on the surface like everything's fine but this functional neurological disorder is with me all of the time. I often fall and at times I've collapsed. I'm scared to take showers, so instead I take baths. Non-epileptic seizures and my speech gets slurred. I get confused and forgetful and mix up my words. Headaches and tiredness, unexplained pains. Muscle weakness and freezes inside the brain. It happens when I'm with others and when I'm alone, when I'm out of the house, or when I stay at home. And that's the thing really, it, it can happen at any point, at any time and what I want to try and say to anyone that is suffering as a positive message and I know how difficult it is and how difficult it can be to, to carry on, is to try and somehow find a way because the fact that it can happen at any point, sometimes you, I don't know, it's that thing of saying well I might as well just try anyway even though it could happen. I know that's difficult and it's controversial there'll be people out there that'll upset. I'm not saying they're not trying hard enough or that they're not doing enough. I'm saying whether you, whether you try and get out of the house or you try and do something, it's going to happen anyway. And until the medical profession catches up, we're going to keep vocalising it.